Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to be taking a quick look at the new Tello app for the Rise Tello drone. Now this little aircraft is not actually available yet however today on both the Google and the Apple stores the app has now become available. Now it is free of charge so you can go and download it and it is just called Tello. Um, what I'm going to do in this video is just quickly walk through some of the basic options and features just to give you an idea of what it's like. So let's get on with it and take a look. When you open the app, it will take you to this how to connect Tello screen. And basically, this is where you would connect the Tello directly to your phone. Now, when I opened it the first time, it did give me the option of updating the aircraft firmware as well. And it downloads that to the smart device, which I have already just done. And then it would upload it to the aircraft when you connect. Obviously, I don't have one currently, so I can't do it. So if I close this screen, it then shows us the main options. And in here, you can see you have the on-screen controls, just like on DJI GO 4 with the Wi-Fi aircraft, like the Mavic and the Spark. When using it on on-screen controls, you can control the on-screen movements just like that. So you've obviously got forward, back, and then you've got left, right, and you can control it all from there. Top left hand corner is the automatic takeoff option, so it allows you to take off the aircraft nice and easily. The next one is the intelligent flight modes. Now, there's actually quite a lot in here. You've got flips, throw and go, up and out, 360, circle, and bounce mode. And it's with remembering at this point that this is a $99 stroke £99 aircraft and it is astonishing to think you have all of these options at this price point. It really is. Next, we have the settings menu. Now, in here is a number of quick settings. So you've got flight speed, slow and fast. The VR mode sets it to full screen for using VR goggles. You've then got your Bluetooth joystick settings if you want to use it with either made for Apple or certain Bluetooth joysticks. And they have now added info on this on their website of what ones are compatible. But basically on iOS, any ones that are made for iOS should work. You've then got your Wi-Fi options, which allows you to change the SSID and password. And then you've got more. More is where most of the main app controls are. So you've got your usual things like metric imperial for the measurement system, photo quality low and high. It's worth remembering that there is no SD card in the Tello. So all images are transferred back to your smart device live. So it's worth remembering that when you are taking images. You've got your low battery warning levels, which is below 50% to 10%. So you can adjust that between the two. You've then got your joysticks mode for on-screen controls, which is mode one or mode two. You've got camera EV settings, and then you've got the bitrate settings. And as I said just now, no SD card, which means everything is live coming back. It's currently set to auto, but you can set it up to four megabytes a second. This will also have a direct output on the quality of the footage or stills you're taking on the Tello as well. Moving over to the dots, it just gives you a aircraft status. So you've got IMU status, center of gravity cal, and some firmware options like version, loader version, app version, and you've also got some links to go to Rise Technical Support. At the top on the first screen, you just spotted beginner's guide, and all this is is a set of screenshots which show you what all of the options do, just like I'm showing you now. And it's really quite simple. So at the center at the top, you've got battery, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, speed, and height. You've then got your settings, your playback, your camera switch or stills or video, and then you've got your shutter button. And then it shows you the intelligent flight modes and it shows you each of them. So basically that is it, because obviously on the other side of the options I've just shown you, you've got play, the option to change between stills and video and then the shutter button itself overall the app is very very simple but it has everything you need i really can't think of another thing i wish was in there because it isn't it's got everything you want and that's it really so thank you very much for watching this video it was purely a quick one to show the app is now available go and download it if you want to and have a play